Hello and welcome to Hey Team TV. So recently you saw part one of the Cattle Feeder, which was all filmed back in January, which, yes, never got round to finishing anything, and it's going to end up being done in a part series. This is side one. I've got to do a second side and then join the two sides together so it will be a rectangle so it can be fed from or they can cows can feed from all sides why am i making it so big for the amount of cows we got well quite honestly you never know if you're gonna get more cows two also at the same time uh they have plenty of room and three three if we're really busy we can put in two bales of six foot round bales and don't have to go back out there for a, a few days. But ideally don't want to do that because usually, as we all know, cows get fed up with, you know, bales that have been open for day after day, unless it's like hay. So, you know, but again, you know, it gives you an option. Put a silage bale in, put a hay bale in, they're happy. Now, also, you can see it's been, as I said before, stuck together. I'm not gonna lie, my welding ability is probably not far off a seagull laxative but fingers crossed it holds not the best weld in the world but i possibly can't be the worst weld in the world this end over here will get cut down so there's not so much of an overhang this side's got just enough of an overhang so when the cross pieces go in there'll be a nice join again this end I managed to weld in the holes as well, just for a bit of extra strength. Um, this was last night's welding. But if I come down here, <coughs> this was this morning, which is marginally better. Well, I think it is anyway. But soon find how strong this is. I will go get a telehandler, move this one out of the way. So I'll go get a telehandler, see how strong this is, lift this one out of the way, and then start on the second one. Okay, for the size of the barrier, I'm gonna put on the pallet for extension so I can go straight underneath it and move it easily. So I'll leave you there. First side is over there beginning of second side is here so first thing to do first um i've got to get these square so as they're three meters apart from side to side i'll measure that in then i must measure the diagonals where my arms going the diagonal across from there to there or there to there once the diagonals are exactly the same measurement and the size of the same measurement then i've got a square then i'll put the barriers on and then weld in. While we're using a, so on a MIG, Adam struggled with the MIG on these, so I'm using rods. Um, with the rods, I can turn it right up and burn into the galvanized, because there's high tensile steel and regular steel, and you've got to get it really hot so it bites in. But as long as it bites in, fingers crossed, all be good. Big test be when the cows start rubbing at it. Then I know if I've sort of done it well enough. But let's get you guys set up on time lapse and I'm gonna measure all this all out.
I know it doesn't look like it with the angle of the camera, is square. So now, I'll start measuring on and put those on before I start welding them down. The last one to measure out, which is six, six centimeters at the top. Side two, all ready to go. Let's get the welder going and get the thing stuck together. Now, if you guys don't mind, I'm gonna speed this up. One, it's gonna bore you less, and two, two, I'll have less to edit. Is all welded up. As you can see, welding welds aren't it's even as bad as I thought they were going to be. Welds aren't too bad. Next step, I've got to measure up side bits and then get these two parts welded together. I've just gone and got a heat more barriers which I've got to cut a metal trough off and bits and pieces. I've got one already at length. I'm going to lay that one on top of the others and use that as a guide rather than re-measuring out all the time. It's just faster. So I use that to measure out. Um, it just speeds things up for me. Once that's all done, I am going to weld the four tops. And I know what you're thinking. So... On the other barrier, the other side of the telehandler, there are two plates on the top. They're not feet, they're tops. So water can't get in the top of the tube. Also, it's handy. If you're ever out doing something with cows and you need somewhere to put it, you've got like a, a place to like always put stuff. So I'm gonna get on with that now. <laughs> So there we have it. Right, this is going to be part two. I didn't think it was going to be part three, but things are taking me longer than I thought they had. So, I've got all my bits ready. I've just got to weld the last two sections on. So I'll trim those when it's up upright. Um, could just be easier because I can get both sides of it. Uh, those over there are all cut, ready to go. So the six to go on the sides or the ends because it's going to be rectangle. So these are sides. They'll be the ends. And jobs are good then. But I'm running out of daylight. I've got a little bit more grinding to do now. And then you guys will have to see it being put together in the next part. I didn't think it was going to go this far, but it, it has. Does anyone else have it when you do a job that loads of little things happen around it? that you can't just get on with it. Well, that's kind of sort of what's happened to me. Anyway, if you haven't yet done so, please hit that subscribe and give us a thumbs up. That'd be amazing. Also, you can find us on Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, and also on Twitter. Twitter. You can also get merch on eBay. And 
yes, his raw shortness will be in a video coming soon. So this, you're not, not, not next. No, you're not necessarily going to see the next episode of this in the next video. But you got stuff to watch, which is the most important thing. Whilst we're in lockdown, and no one else got anything else to do, other than things like this, which is entertaining me at the moment. But hopefully, me caves love it. That'd be really good. Anyway, I love farming. Adam loves farming. See you guys in the next one. Cheers.